500 million genetically altered mosquitoes let loose in Florida, and not everyone is happy. I'm going to call this video. Half a billion genetically altered mosquitoes have upset Floridians after state <coughs> releases them. Now, this is a this is one of these uh, really, well, I don't, I don't know what to make of this story. Well, maybe I'll just let you decide. So this is from our future headlines report, which is Floridians livid after officials let loose 500 million gene-modified mosquitoes. And the, t the story is from Futurism.com. Residents furious at release of 500 million gene-hacked mosquitoes. I like their, their, their title. Now, I didn't say gene-hacked in my titles because I don't know the science involved. And I think hacked is a bit of a pejorative phrase. So I don't know. I don't know whether this is actually a good or bad thing, but I do think it's a fundamental challenge. And certainly, it's a challenge if you've done this without consent of the people that, that you're... you're you're doing this to and it speaks to the mentality of the government as it moves more and more away from rule of law standards where we have a king outside of us and outside of our 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 daily operating system so to speak uh and over to priest kingism where we are governed by the charisma and and credibility of individuals and so their their charisma and credibility is enough to set the the fluctuating constantly changing rule of law as opposed to the steady predictable rule of law so from the excerpt here written by J dan robitsky without realizing it donaldson had agreed to participate in a genetics experiment during which a british biotech company called oxitech and it's perfect that uh, that, that how this was achieved was they brought in a a foreign power in essence a foreign a foreign business to do the bidding of 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 an American government that that just that just makes it all the more well all the more rife for critique I'll just say I'll put it to you that way so this company called Oxitec will release half a billion gene hack mosquitoes engineered to kill off the local bloodsucker population along a lengthy swath of the Florida Keys breeding and unleashing clouds of genetic engineered bugs sounds like science fiction but it's already happening locally some love the idea and others hate it a fight which has turned ugly with some residents even threatening to destroy oxitex equipment supporters say it's a new way to rid the area of annoying disease spreading mosquitoes but opponents are furious about what they describe as a biotech company coming in and strong arming their community into serving as a petri dish for a poorly vetted gene hacking experiment I find this criminal that we are being bullied into this experiment, says Islamadora resident Megan Hall at a heated town council meeting in March. I find it criminal that we are being subjected to this terrorism by our own Florida Keys Mosquito Control Board. See, there's that word terrorism. Terrorism, you know, one man's terrorist, another man's freedom fighter, as they say. I remember I used to hear that back in 2003, and I thought, you're a commie. Now I, I realize the error of my ways. Uh, although you could be a commie and say it, but could not be a commie and say it too whatever commie is that's a moving target as well so this is an interesting story to me in that maybe, maybe it's a good thing i don't know it's kind of like what's going on with the vaccine the vaccine i'm not one of these people that thinks the vaccine is the mark of the beast and it's evil and we're all gonna die and blah 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 and it's a you know a, an evil operation by the government with 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 direct malevolence intended Although I wouldn't rule that out because governments are capable of doing very, very horrible, horrible things to human beings in the name of preserving and extending their own personal power. When I say governments, I mean the small number of individuals that actually essentially control governments. So with that in mind, what we're looking at here is a situation where the government is willing to take experimentation on its population at a large scale. In the case of the vaccine, we're talking about 300 million human beings, 300 plus million human beings, a vaccine that has not been properly vetted, a vaccine that uh, we have yet to understand the full ramifications of the long term effects of this vaccine, a vaccine that is designed to stop an illness that I would argue certainly you should take seriously. It's much more serious than the flu, but it's not the bubonic plague. And I don't even know if it's in between bubonic plague and flu. I think it's closer to flu than bubonic plague, but it's still significantly more serious. So we, we should consider this. You should offer this opportunity, especially the more you are in a risk category for the vaccine, the more you should 
possibly consider taking the vaccine. The less at risk you are, the less you should consider it, at least until this thing has been vetted. And though we see some long-term effect studies on exactly what this vaccine may or may not do. In the case of the vaccine, it doesn't even offer full protection. There's no guarantee that you won't get sick again. So it's not even a fail. It's not a foolproof vaccination. It's not a foolproof protection against the vaccine itself. And in this instant, we're talking about genetically modifying mosquitoes and setting them loose. And they've been genetically modified to kill the bad mosquitoes. And we have no idea the long term effect of what that genetic modification will do. You know, the law of unintended consequences, you change one thing here and it has an unintended consequence of changing something over there. These mosquitoes could c turn out to be more of a threat to the environment and to the people than the mosquitoes that we're killing. And yet they're willing to make this experiment and a government that is willing to do such things is a government that is operating under a priest king parameter where they no longer feel that there's any real direct accountability to them and the people they serve. The United States of America emerged as a place of quote unquote liberty, not because we were noble, but because the reality of power was such in our formation that the rank and file, we the poors, we had the means to to wreak havoc on those that have, and they knew it. So this this the Bill of Rights, the Constitution was their their compromise, was their allowance to diminish their own power, their own pursuit of their own apex existential power, as I call it, uh, in a way that they were not admitting that they didn't have power. So they created this ideational construct that allowed them to diminish their own power. Well, that's gone, as we could see when you have experiments like this.